Oh, sorry about that, guys. Okay, you can hear me now. I don't know why I was on mute. That sucks. That sucks. I'm so sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, anyways. I guess I should explain. Okay, you know what we're going to do is I'm going to take a look at that replay and I'm going to explain what that was all about. And sorry, guys. I was on mute. That sucks. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the replay really quick, then I'm going to hop back in the chat and we'll let you know what's going on. Okay, so... If anybody has the... If you can hear the music, if you can hear the sounds, tell me if it sounds okay. So let's take a look at our victory screen. We are now... I am now division rank 23. Um, I don't know why it doesn't tell me what my APM is, but... Oh well. Um, looks like my army value was climbing at a good rate. Resource collection rate, take a look at that. I was always above. But he was pretty steady. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at that replay, and um, I guess I might as well explain to you guys what I'm doing here. Um, since I was on mute for the last 10 minutes, brutal. Okay, so what I'm doing is this is bronze to silver with Agamemnon. And what we're doing is we're using Protoss in... I'm trying to... I'm trying to get, get as close to I can with Protoss following Filter Starcraft's um, suggestions that he gave in his Bronze to Masters tutorial and basing it mainly on the Terran um, suggestions that he made. So what I'm going to do is pull up that last replay because we had a win. And again, we're looking for two benchmarks. I've said this before, but I was on mute. Uh, benchmark number one is an expansion at 345. Okay, now... I know you guys can't see because my overlay, it's kind of, let's put up the names here. Um, <clears throat> but I'll tell you the timings because my overlay is not fixed yet for the HOTS beta. But um, yeah, we want to get an expansion at the 3 minute 45, 45 second mark. And the second um, benchmark we're looking for is 50 workers, minimum 50 workers at the 10 minute mark. Okay, so what I'm doing here... We're going to speed it up just a little bit. It's myself versus Palison. Um, since this map has an extra expansion in, like, basically in the base, um, there, the only basically good way to do a fast expansion is to close off this ramp and then take your expansion. So generally with this, I try to go for the one gate fast expand. Um, where I put down a pylon, a gateway, and like one other pylon, and then expand, and that's it. Unfortunately in this, and, and that generally with constant worker production, that allows you to get that expansion up at the 3 minute 45 second mark. Now the problem is, this is my first game of the night, and I got a little excited and a little ahead of myself, and built more buildings than I should have. So there goes the pylon. Before taking that expansion, I might want to spit out one zealot just to help deal with cheese and stuff like that. But I do like this uh, one gate fast expand. So right now we're nearing the three minute mark. I'm taking one gas and I'm only going to take one gas for the whole game. This is going to be a zealot heavy build. Uh, so that that I think that that should not have gone down. Yeah. No, the cyber core, it is now, we're going to pause for a second, it is now 345. So at 345 into the game, if I didn't throw down that cyber core, I would have enough to take that expansion. And we're really trying to focus on um, macro. And in order to get that 50 worker um, benchmark at the 10 minute, you really do need to have a pretty quick expansion down. So at this point, I realize the mistake I've made, or not yet, no. I'm one basing it. Terrible. I think now I realize I forgot to expand. But see how much time is wasted now? It's a full minute later. A full minute. And I throw down my expansion. <coughs> so according to filter, again, it should be at the 3 minute 45 second mark for your expansion. 
Um, so I am going to be behind, and it'll be very interesting to see at the 10 minute mark what my worker count is. I would like to see also the units. Um, I'm ahead of him by one worker and two zealots. Really, the worker count is our biggest benchmark that we're worried about here. We're not worried about counters, so I'm not going to talk about, you know, what's good against stalkers or what's good against blink or any of that stuff. This is just about hitting those benchmarks and um, if we do that, generally in the Bronze League, we win. And so when we win in the Bronze League, we go on to the Silver League. Now because I lost some time there, I do have a little bit more money and a little more time to spend on plus one. Um, I have did a nice worker transfer there, so I'm getting saturation and trying to chrono um, my Nexuses. Warpgate research is done. <coughs> and we're waiting for the 10 minute mark, and we're going to attack at the 10 minute mark. And at the same time, we're going to check and see what our units are like. So I'm at 40, and I've got about one minute to make 10 workers. I don't know. Forty-four. Okay, we're getting near the ten-minute mark. Nine thirty. Oh, come on, go, 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 go! All right, we're gonna pause now. All right, we're at the ten-minute mark. I've made forty-seven workers, and that's not satisfactory. That's not good enough. I really need to have fifty. Fifty is the goal, and I did not make my goal. You can see I don't have full saturation on this base. I mean, they're, they're, they're well saturated, but our goal is 50 at 10 minutes, okay? So now basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our army, and at the 10 minute mark we're going to do a attack move. We just want to basically attack move right to the back of your opponent's base. There's no micro. Micro is not allowed. It is not allowed. Um, the only thing I do because it's Protoss is I do toss down with my probe that I include in my army. I'll throw down a forward pylon, like a proxy pylon, which allows me to reinforce. Um, otherwise, you get this long string of producing units, and they just end up dying because they're marching in a line. You know, it's like a tower defense game, only you're on the wrong side. So, let's watch the battle because I really didn't really pay attention to it. Here we go. All right, so my guys are moving out. And at the same time, I just, we're going to look at the production tab. Actually, let's look at the army tab, because there's no... Okay, so we're going to get an engagement here. No micro, I'm not even using guardian shields. But my army is way bigger than his. So he's using blink micro, he's using force fields, stutter step, and my army is still about five times the size of his. I've got more on the way. I have uh, a pylon going down there. See, there's no micro whatsoever. Absolutely none. But it just... And then you start being able to reinforce from this uh, pylon right here. And it just becomes, like, you can look at the army tab there, it, this is game over already. He's warping in some more. I've done the same from my forward pylon. Again, pri primarily zealots. But I'm just trying to spend my money. Notice that my money's still staying pretty low and his is skyrocketing. <laughs> look, my zealots are doing, like, almost nothing. Oh, that guy's doing nothing. <coughs> But the, the point is they just keep coming. And you can micro all you want. You can't stop this. You just, you just can't. And that's game over. Alright, cool. So I'm going to quit that replay and I'm going to check the chat. If you guys have any questions, please uh, say so in the chat. And then we're going to jump into another ladder game. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> uh, thanks, Coltrane. I really appreciate that. I saw an APM tab on the far right of the first section. Oh, in the uh, after the game was over. I looked at that tab, but for, I don't think there was any information. I don't really know why. Anyways, um, I have to use the washroom. I'm going to be right back. Enjoy some uh, classic StarCraft music, and I will return in one second. Thanks, guys. Hang in there. This is Bronze to Silver with Agamemnon. That's me. Hang in there. Alright guys, I'm back. Agamemnon here. Um, this is Bronze to Silver, and I've got a word for you. Never play on a full bladder. I don't, and now I'm awesome, so... Let's uh, do another game! <laughs> Alright. So, again, we're trying to follow... Um, What's this? Uh, Filter StarCraft's um, suggestions, but I'm tailoring it because it's for Terran and, Zer and Zerg. I'm actually kind of forcing it into the Protoss mold, but they've made a couple little changes as you're going to see. Last game I hit the 10 minute mark with subpar worker production. Let's find, uh, let's find a game. Subpar worker production, uh, not by much, but not good enough. And my expansion went down too late. A minute too late, which is brutal. So, let's do it right. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Pro another PVP, and this time on Antigua Shipyard. Um, we're probably going to be doing again a one gate expand uh, down this time because. The ramp is at the lower section, uh, such as right here. We're probably going to be linking our buildings along here towards the nexus and making our own little wall. I'm going to scout, um, not again for any uh, information other than location, because when the 10 minute mark comes, we're going to attack and we need to know where to go. Again, I'm going to be checking the chat in between games. So if you guys have anything to say, please do. Let's save my Chrono Boost for once that pylon finishes up. So we're going to scout. Also kind of, I've got my camera on my hands a bit there so that you guys can see what iron grid is. Excuse me. Alright, I don't really remember how this map works so let's just uh, let's just run through the bases here. Okay, we're at the two minute mark. Uh, for some reason, I cancelled my... Oh, that's bad. Alright, that's okay. 
We're gonna get through this together. <clears throat> Okay, we're one minute away from an expansion. One minute away. We're we'll trying to keep constant worker production up. We are at three minutes and fifteen seconds. You see our money's starting to get high, so we're gonna be ready to plant down that nexus. It is 3.25. I'm heading over there now. Oh, let's return that, sorry. There we go. And notice how it fits in with my wall, that's a total fluke. Yeah, I am not that good. That was a fluke. Okay, well we're gonna need another pylon. Let's stick it here. Okay, we found him. And it looks like he's going for a fairly similar build to me, but I don't see a fast expand. So hopefully we'll have the edge on him in that way. Okay, I'm going to get Cybercore up. I think I need another pylon. Okay, I'm kind of waiting for the magic 300. And then I'm going to throw down two gateways. There we go. Worker transfer. So now we're just going to keep our worker production up, we're going to keep our supply up, and I'm going to try and get up to six gateways, I think. And then at the ten minute mark, we are go. I want to use some of my Chrono Boost on my Warp Gate research. Keep that worker production up. We're at the seven minute mark now. I think I need uh, one, two, three, four, I need two more gates. I think I'm okay for my warp gate timing. Okay. That was very close to being supply blocked. And there it is. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go for... well... I've got money now, so I might as well. Let's get that forge up. And we're going to be transforming these guys in a second.
Okay, that's good for me. Because that means he wasted all that money on that. Okay, we're at the 10 minute mark, so we gotta go. I had to do a little bit of micro there, so I really hope that I didn't miss up, up mess up on my timings. Wow. And I lost one of my workers. Oh, really supply blocked. Okay, he has not expanded yet. So... Well, that's a nice warping. Alright, let's do this. Let's go, let's go. Might throw up a guardian shield. There we go. That's all I'm going to do. I think this game is in the bag. I think that's pretty easy to say. Let's do an expansion. And we won! Two games in a row! Sweet. Alright, if you guys have any uh, comments on that game, I'm going to jump in the into the chat. If you have any questions, let's talk about it. <clears throat> yeah, so he did... Uh, I might... T uh, you know what, we got to take a look at that replay again, because I just need to see if my timings hit properly. But yeah, that little... Uh, that little warp in there with his cannons. Yeah, that was a waste of his waste of his money. So let's take a look at that replay really quickly. And see if I hit my goals, which I think I didn't. But we'll see. Oh, I forgot to see where I was now. Sorry, what rank am I now? Uh what rank am I? How do you know what rank you are? 19, okay, so we moved up four more spots. Sweet. Um, replace. Okay, so let's load this one up. Yeah, so he... That that was actually a really good example of... He just won base. I think he didn't move off one base the whole time. So... He, played a he tried to do a lot of tricky stuff. He tried hiding... You know, cannons in here, war pins, uh, all on one base. And it's just, I mean, it's just not going to hold. It's not. Against two base, with, I just don't see it working. And it didn't work, so. Speed up a little bit. We're looking for an expansion here at the 3 minute 45 second mark. I've got a scout just looking for where his location is. We're almost at the three minute mark right now. So I'm going to slow it down in a second. Pro had to go take his stuff back and goes down at 344. Yeah! Alright. So, target number one was reached. We got our expo at the three minute 45 second mark. And. It doesn't even matter that I didn't see him here. It doesn't matter. Like, we're not worried about that kind of scouting. <clears throat> Just want to find out where your opponent is and then head right back. If you're going to lose, even if I lost, even if I lost to stuff like this, we're just going to go on to the next game and we're going to get better and better and better. And the person who does cheesy stuff like this is just going to stay in the low leagues. That's it. He just won't go any farther. Um, but if we're getting our macro really strong... We are going to move up. 
Okay, so let's take a look at our units. So again, look at that. I mean, I've got 23 workers, he's got 15. Our army tab is still even, so it's not like I'm behind. Uh, and I'm getting an exp expansion. He has nothing. Still got this guy back here. Um, what is he doing in his base? He's going for two gas. I don't know what he's doing, actually, to tell you the truth. Not a whole lot. And we're going to wait for that 10 minute. I'm going to speed it up a bit. We're going to wait for that 10 minute mark and then we're going to attack. Um, probably, yeah, watch it to the end because we want to see the, want to see the battles. Uh, spending a bit of Chrono Boost. This is what I'm worried about. I'm worried that I spent too much Chrono Boost on my Cyber Core. Whereas I usually use it on my Nexuses in order to spit out 50 workers by the 10 minute mark. Trying to get... I think 6... I could be wrong and you guys can let me know what you think, but 6... Seems to be... 6, uh, sorry... Or gateways... Seems to be a really good number on two bases for uh, ultimate production, keeping your money nice and low. Uh, now, I'm going to pause for a second because both of us are keeping our money at about the same amount. His gas is floating a little bit too high, but I want to show you the income. So my income is way higher than his. We're at the 8 minute 22 second mark. I've got 46 harvesters. He's got 25. I'm uh, making more, so that means if our money is staying close to the same, it means I'm spending more. So that's good. That means I'm going to have a bigger army, a bigger economy, and I'm going to crush them. Let's take a look at that army tab. So now he's getting a little cheesy here, so let's watch this happen. Alright, so the attack arrives. The other thing I find about having a big economy is that you can basically soak up this kind of damage and still survive. So I don't have all my uh, warp gates on one hockey. I'm missing one by mistake, so that's my, my mistake. We're just going to attack move. We're not going to micro. Attack move once more. I think I do put up a shield here. Yeah. That's not micro, is it? Come on. Alright. Warping it a bit more now. My money's gonna float really high here because he's taken all of my concentration away. But we are still nearing the 10 second mark, 10 minute mark in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10. Alright, let's look at the units. 51! Yes! Yes. Both um, goals, I guess. Both goals were met. I got a, f um, a base up by 3 minutes and 45 seconds. Not sooner either. Like, you don't you don't want to be like, oh, I got up at 2.30. No, because then you're you're missing out on other things. So that's too fast. So 3.45, and then we're going to attack at 10 minutes. And I'm a little caught up here uh, with moving my stuff around, so my money is floating a bit. Um, but I think I'm going to figure out how to spend it. Oh, and the other reason why is he supply blocked me. So, all right. So I'm moving my army out, and he killed off the probe that was in my main army, which I usually use to plant down a forward pylon. So that's going to slow me down a bit, but <sighs> got to keep going. Okay, so my money's going a bit high. And the army tab, I mean, like, I don't even have to wait. <clears throat> I don't even have to wait for this pylon to finish. I should just, I could just go in there right now. But the Protoss race is designed by a blizzard to use a forward pylon or a warp prism and warp ins. So if you don't use it, they, your warp gate, you, or your gateway units pretty much get killed. So just being safe. And my money's come down. Um, oh, no, it's not. It's still very high. <laughs> Alright, let's speed this up. Because I think we all know how this is going to end. 
Got some more warpins coming at that pylon. There we go. And we're right up into his base, and that's uh, going to be a GG. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, awesome, I'm going to jump into the chat if you guys have any questions. Um, do I play any MOBAs? I play... I've played League of Legends a couple times. Um, and I've played Aeon of Storms on StarCraft. <coughs> they're, like, uh, they are good. I mean, I, they're, they're very popular and I've had fun playing them, but... I find I kind of get bored. <laughs> the um, RTS StarCraft Two especially is very, very. Uh, there's a lot of well, there's a very high ceiling that you know of skill. You can, it's easy to get into, but it's really hard to master. So I think that's what attracts me to StarCraft Two. I really like knowing that the limits for my improvement are very high. You know. Um, <laughs> Whereas I've, I kind of found with uh, playing League of Legends especially, I'd say, I get to a point in the game where I'm just like, I just want it to be over now. Like, there just seems like there's no progression. Um, I'm also a big, big fan of chess. I love chess. And one thing I like about chess is that you've got uh, <clears throat> the early game, and then you've got the mid game, and then you've got the end game. And StarCraft's very much like that, you know, your your opening affects the middle of the game, and the middle of the game affects the end of the game, and I love that. I love that progression. And with um, MOBAs, I kind of find that it's all middle game. Like, the whole thing's middle game. That, that, I mean, that's just my opinion, but... So, if you really love action, I guess MOBAs are awesome, but if you want to get into strategy um, at different stages of a game, that's my... That's my love, that's my passion, and so that's why I stick with StarCraft. Um, let's play another game. Let's get out of bronze. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the chat. Thanks for stopping by. This is Agamemnon. Bronze to silver. And again, if you're just tuning in, we're uh, basing my play on advice from Filter StarCraft. Um, <clears throat> let's go into the matchmaking. Actually, guys, I'm just going to get a drink really quickly. Hang in there. Don't go anywhere. We're going to jump into the game in two seconds.
Hey guys, I'm back. Thanks for being patient. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm just taking a look at the chat um, <clears throat> just before I jump in here. Heroes of New Earth, um, there was a buddy of mine that played... Uh, he calls it Han, right? So there's a buddy of mine that played Han um, and really, really recommended it. And I just... You know what? I never tried it. I, all I've ever heard of is Dota, uh, Dota and League of Legends. So Heroes of New Earth, if you say it's more structured... I think I'd probably enjoy that a lot more. I'll give it a shot. And maybe let you guys know. Maybe I'll stream some Han. What? Who knows? Okay, so let's get... Watch Flamers. Is that people that get mad, or is that... Another kind of Flamer? Probably people are getting mad. Because I'm a noob, right? Okay. <clears throat> so, i will going to look for a new game. If anyone's tuning in, I just want to again remind you that what we're doing here is bronze to silver, so we're getting out of bronze. Uh, we're using the um, recommendations of Filter Starcraft. And so far today, we are two for two. Won two games and played two games. Um, I've gone from yesterday, I was ranked 97th in bronze, <laughs> and today I'm now ranked 19th. So, we're going to go again, hit play, and again, we're looking for two benchmarks. Expansion at the 3 minute, 45 second mark, and at least 50 workers by the 10 minute mark, and attacking at the, ten, ten, at the 10 minute mark. Um, last game, I actually hit both of those uh, goals, and we had a nice, nice easy win. I won the game before that too, but I didn't hit either of those goals. But I was close. But not close enough. Alright, here we go. I'm not even actually sure if I can get out of bronze today because I think this the, the ladder's locked. If any of you guys know if the ladder's locked, could you let me know? Okay, so we're on Core Hall City. This is the same map uh, we played, I think, two games ago. Um... <clears throat> nice to have an expansion in your base, but that means we're going to have to wall off at our ramp. And I'll be going for a one gate fast expand. Again, I mentioned it before, I think I might have been on mute. <laughs> but I do prefer the one gate fast expand to the forge fast expand, it's just my personal preference. Um, <clears throat> I kind of feel that with the... Uh, one gate fast expand that you are able to get your uh, chrono, oh, sorry, your net, uh, what's it called? Cyber core. You're able to get your cyber core a lot faster. And I also like the flexibility of having mobile uh, army, you know, like zealots and stalkers, as opposed to being tied down with, um, cannons that are stuck in one place. And yes, you do get the occasional Ling run by. Can't remember, is this guy Protoss or Zerg? Or what is he? I think he's Protoss. I think. Ugh, I never pay attention to that screen. Too busy looking at the map. So we're looking at our timer. You guys can't see it because my overlay is kind of messing that up. But we're going to try and get our expansion down at the 3 minute. 45 second mark, and I will let you guys know if I get that right or not. I'm going to send out a scout just to find out where this guy is. <clears throat> I don't care about what his build is or any of that stuff. It's not important. It's not a need to know. Mm, let's put that there. We're going to stay on one gas for the entire game in two bases. Possibly going on to three later on, but two is the priority. <clears throat> now, we should see my money start to climb fairly soon. I do want to get out of Zealot, though. I wonder if I can stay on... Okay, we're actually not going to put those into gas because I think my timing might be a little off. 
So we're going to hang tight on this so that we can get to the three minute mark. Okay, it's 3.30. Let's go. All right, did it. 3.43. And we've got ourselves a fast expander of our own. And he's a Zerg, so that's not a problem. That's nothing. That's okay. All right, and we're going to get our Cybernetics Core just a little late, because I might be worried about a bit of a Ling problem. Let's put that there. Where's that pylon? Okay, so whenever I get supply blocked like this, generally, I throw down a forge. So, because research does not take supply. Alright, and we're getting very close to getting two more gates. We're going to aim for six gates. <coughs> A little worker transfer going. There we go. That's ah, looking okay. Looking good. Looking good. And let's see. Is he going to squeeze by? He does not know the trick. He does not know how to get by. If you guys don't know how to get by when uh, someone's blocked up like that with workers, ask me in the chat, I'll tell you after this game. It's pretty necessary. Okay, I'm going for plus one. Not uh, not really necessary in, in this, but... Uh <coughs> I've kind of screwed this up already, so... <laughs> there we go. So now we're looking for the 10 minute mark to move out. And I think we're going to need to get some more gates. We want to get up to six. Should be good. Oh, we now have warp gates. And my money's gonna pile up, so I gotta get some more warp gates. And I need... Here we go. Got supply blocked. Brutal. Okay, so supply block's never good. Okay, we're nearing the nine minute mark. We're just probably going to spit out a bunch of zealots here. Okay, we're getting our spending under control. All right, we got 30 seconds. You require more Vespin gas. You must construct a shadow. Okay, time to go. And we're going to take this guy and build us pylon. <coughs> because it seems pretty necessary.
Okay, so he's scared. But he also got my worker. Oh no, he didn't. So we're just going to attack move into the base. That's all we're going to do. And I think I'm going to try and get some stalkers out. Now this may not be good. This may not go my way. But it looks like it is. So now I think I'm going to take a third, which is kind of awkward. Let's take this one. Oh man, that's ugly. I don't care, I'm throwing it down. Nah, forget it. Let's just uh, reinforce here. So you see, I'm not paying attention to the army at all. We're just trying to keep the pressure on. <coughs> That's it. That's all. And I think we are winning this war. I really do. I like to spend my warp or my chrono boost on my warp gates to get some more out. <clears throat> so I'm not microing at all. None. And we won again. Yes! Three wins, solo hot streak. Woo! Awesome. All right, cool. Um, let's go to the score screen. <coughs> okay, so we have now risen up to 14th in bronze. I've gone from 97, I think it is, to 14 in two days. And only played really a few games, but I just, I just keep winning, so... Thanks to Filter Starcraft. I gotta give that guy props. <coughs> uh, okay, I wanted. Apparently, there is an APM. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so my average APM in that game was 57. So that's. Eh, that's not bad. But I'm not spamming and I'm not microwing either, so it's not really adding to that number at all. Um, what else do we want to take a look at? Okay. Look at the graphs. Oh, that's nice. Let's look at the uh, collection rate. That's a good number. So I s we were kind of neck and neck, and then I pulled ahead, and then he must have taken a third right about here. Um, but he just took too much damage and couldn't hold on to it. So, All right, so I'm going to jump into the chat. If you guys have any questions or any comments, let's talk a little bit, and then we're going to look at the replay and see if I hit my timings at 3 minutes and 45 seconds, and if I got 50 workers at the 10 minute mark. <clears throat> oh my goodness, hey guys! Okay, uh, what's going on here? Okay, it's mostly just Furious and Coltrane uh, falling in love with each other. <laughs> Anyways guys, thanks for dropping by to watch. I'm going to... I'm going to pull up that replay again and we're going to check our... Uh, check out if I got... if I hit my goals. Alright, so again, just those two goals. Let's take a look. And guys, if you want to let me know uh, how the sound is, if you're getting uh, the music and the game and my voice at good, good volumes, that would be nice to know. <coughs> I had to redo all my uh, volumes with uh, Heart of the Swarm beta, so... Not sure if you can hear anything. Alright, so let's bring up the uh, name panel. <sighs> um, so I'm up against Panzer Christ. Wow, that is a very, very interesting name. 
I'm not going to get into it though. And you know what? My keyboard is scrolling too fast, so I'm just going to change that really quick. How do I do that? Well, I guess I can't do it in game. All right, never mind. Okay, let's keep going. Excuse me, speeding it up a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so again on this map, and I, I actually forget the name of the map. Oh, I forget. Anyways, on this map you have an expansion in, basically in your base. You have a base in your base. So, best way to do a fast expansion with this is actually to do it at your ramp. Other uh, maps where you have a ramp like this and then an expansion just below, I tend to like to put my wall, build an artificial wall of buildings right to my expansion, but can't do that on this map, so <clears throat> that's okay. Didn't get too carried away. We got one gateway, two pylons, and I don't even think, I think I got my gas way too early. I think that was too early. Um, <clears throat> so we're nearing the three minute mark. And again, we're looking for 345 for my expansion. Like to get out that one zealot just in case. Um, also, I find with the one gate fast expand that you can handle six pools and, and lings and stuff like that with that zealot and you know a few workers and you're okay. All right, so my um, expansion went down to the three minute, 45 second mark, so that's excellent. Let's take a look at the units tab. I'm ahead on workers. That's good, that's what we're looking for. The next benchmark we're going to try and hit is at the 10 minute mark uh, with 50 workers. And then we're going to attack. Also got supply blocked a couple times in this game, not really that great. But I'm not working off a build order, I'm just kind of... just trying to hit those timings and that's it. <clears throat> and according to Filter Starcraft, that will get you out of bronze. And so far it's working. I'm three, am I three for three or four for four today? Something like that. Anyway. I'm not losing. Also find again that uh, six skates on two base is pretty good. Although in, was it last game? I could have definitely, yeah. Last game I should have thrown down a whole bunch more gates just to, just because I got so supply blocked. My spending's really good, really fast. Um, <clears throat> again, I'm ahead on workers still, 37 to 33. We're at this seven and a half minute mark. And again, we're not going to leave this one gas. We're just going to have one gas for the whole game. That's it. Um, now we have five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven gates. And that's because I got supply blocked, and that's why I also built the forge. So that's one thing I really need to work on. I'm hitting my 3 and 45 minute timing for my expansion pretty good. Um, but supply blocks, I'm not happy with that. That's not, not good enough. Alright, so... We're nearing the 9.5 minute mark. <clears throat> not sure if I'm going to make it. Uh, I need 50... Oh no, I made it. I made it. Alright, cool. Very, very cool. Alright, so we're going to pause it right now. Okay, so we are at the 10 minute mark. And you can see as soon as 10 minute hits, my entire army is going to move out. I've got 52 workers this time at the 10 minute mark, so yeah. Doing good. So let's just hit play. Let's watch the rest of the game. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. My army is marching across. And again, this is a complete attack move. There is no micro at all, as you can see. Bring up the army tab. Now that's a big, big difference. My army is way, way bigger than his. That's crazy. And my economy is bigger. Uh, yep, yep, it is. By quite a bit. So I've got a bigger army, and I've got more workers at the exact same time as a Zerg player. Interesting. Very interesting. Now I don't have that forward pylon down because he sniped my worker. So that might be that will delay my attack a lot. Cuz if I'd be able to get that warp in like right about now, I could reinforce and it would just 
it would just be very hard for, for him to hold. So you see there's no micro here at all. Like, these stalkers are doing whatever they want. <laughs> Zealots are all getting caught up in chokes. I've got a probe in there. Like, it looks like he's cleaned up this army pretty well, right? It looks like it. And I'm bringing Zealots to a Roach fight. Doesn't usually work. There we go. And they're just going where they want. <coughs> but now I've got a pylon and reinforcements on the way. My spending is pretty good. Getting a little high, but I'm usually... I think I should be able to drop that. Let's go take a look at this here. Should be able to drop it really soon. <coughs> Probably have to wait for that warp gate timing to finish. Well, there's a few of them anyway. Roach Warren goes down. And... and Yeah. I think... Oh, he's got a third. Yeah, he does have a third. And there's a GG. <clears throat> Alright, so... Again, um... Just follow Filter StarCraft's advice in... Like, one four in a row. And I'm at the top... Almost top ten in bronze, so just gonna check out the chat. <clears throat> oh wow, we're all... We've gone from StarCraft to migration and countrywide map mitigating hazard materials. Sweet. Very cool. You have questions? Okay. Oh wait, do you have questions for me or for uh, Coltrane? <laughs> Okay, so apparently Furious Geo has... Why don't you play Zerg? Oh, why don't I play Zerg? Okay. I'm in the chat and I don't know if anyone's actually talking to me or talking to each other. <clears throat> but that was probably my last game. Do you guys have any questions about the filter StarCraft method? How to... Okay, I, I guess the question is why don't I play Zerg? Okay, we're talking to me now. Sweet, alright. So, why don't I play Zerg? I don't like him? I've played, I've played Protoss since StarCraft 1, and it's just what I'm used to. Really, really, really used to Protoss. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm just used to them. Like, Okay, why don't I play Terran? I like Terran. Um, Terran takes a huge amount of APM. Your multitasking has to be really sharp. And you have a lot of decisions to make. Uh, like, let's take the siege tank. Okay, very simple. <clears throat> siege tank, you can either use it as a roving tank or you can use it as a siege tank. In in Protoss, everything's only one thing. I mean, y you use that unit and you use it in its role. You don't have to decide between all these all these different things. If a unit's cloaked, it's cloaked. If it's not, it's not. Um, in Terran, there's just it's too complex, and quite frankly, I don't think I'm good enough to be as good at Protoss as I am at Terran. And I don't use... Okay, you know what I don't like about Zerg? I don't like having a massive amount of little units that die fast. I like to have beefy, strong units that, that I can count on, and I just find that easier for using control groups. Because when I've played Zerg, my units are dying so quickly that 
you're remaking units to reinforce and you have to add them back into the control groups in order to use your hotkeys and I just find that really hard. I find that very very difficult. And how do I have such a great complexion? Hmm. Must be the low def cam. Any other questions about uh, the filter starcraft method and anything else? Because I think I'm losing my my voice, so I'm probably gonna sign off soon, guys. <clears throat> Will you always fast expand now? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to say for the foresee foreseeable future. Um, I'm going to follow Filter's method for quite a while. Um, and his method is to fast expand. Like, at the 3 minute, 45 second mark, you fast expand, period. Like, just you just do it. Um, and his reasoning for that is that it allows you to get your macro up, get, get those... Uh, you know your worker is building and that's gonna get you out of bronze oh is there a big delay oh sorry about that <clears throat> um, yeah it's gonna get you out of bronze it's gonna get you out of those lower leagues without cheese without without any any of that stuff right you just fast expand build up boom well I mean I'm not even using Seven minutes? What? What's 747 mean? Anyways, uh... Oh, I see you're benchmarking it. Okay, yeah. I just saw 747 like a couple seconds ago. Hots from Wings of Liberty. I mean, using the filter StarCraft method, not very different. Okay, cool. Uh, using the filter StarCraft method, not very different because I'm just using gateway units. Um, we won't get into... Basically, we're not going to get into the new HOTS units until um, I get to the point where that that strategy stops working and people start being as good as me at that macro. <clears throat> because that macro is going to take me... I mean, you can see, I haven't won... I haven't lost anything. I haven't even had any competition at, as far as I'm concerned. So, um, once that... Once that happens, then I'm going to have to move on to the next step, you know. Um, but some of the things I like about HOTS, I really like the uh, worker count. Um, sorry. Is the filter at build order just do certain things at certain times? Um, filter, I, I've only looked at, like, he's got, like, he's got a, um, a, a group of videos, which is Bronze to Masters. It's a tutorial. But he takes it in stages. <clears throat> so... No. You can't go to Robo instead of the 6 gate. The, the po well, actually, okay, I shouldn't say that. Um, the reason why I'm doing it this way is because Filter doesn't actually have a tutorial for, for Protoss. He only has a tutorial for Terran and Zerg. So I'm, I'm really kind of forcing it into the mold. And in the Filter StarCraft method for Terran, you're just using Marines. You're just using Marines. So... My uh, kind of mid ground to that is that if I just use zealots, I can only hit ground. So uh, that's why I'm doing that one gas, just so I can get like a few sentries, a few stalkers. Um, but that first stage, until you're out of bronze. Once you're out of bronze, we're going to move on to something else. But in bronze, we're just going to stick with those core units and hitting your expansion timing and hitting your 10 minute timing for uh, attack and for workers. And it's just, that's all you need, apparently, from what he says, and he's a much better player than me, that is all you need to get out of bronze. And once you're out of bronze, then we're going to move on to something else. And we're going to add to it, basically, as we move through the, um, the different leagues. And two robos... Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, okay, hold on. Here we go. You guys want to see me big? There I am. 
See, my complexion's not that great. I'm just really blurry. Uh, any other questions? Because I'm using two cameras, so the one that's on my face... <clears throat> it's an old camera. Makes me look good. Okay, guys, do you have any other questions, or I'm out of here? Yeah, it is. The HD is on my hands. Okay, hold on, I'll show you guys. Right. See? My hand right there. And uh, I have it on my hands because I use Iron Grid. And we've written, uh, well, I've written a blog about that on sc2mistakes.com. So go check it out. Coltrane. Anyways, guys, thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, we learned something together. Oh. Cool, you are welcome to Team Mist, buddy. Come on down, but you gotta play. <clears throat> um, also, if you guys try this method, if you want more notes or whatever, send me an email and I can send you some notes, send you a little more detail. And love to see any replays if you guys try doing the filter method. Seems to be working. Okay, guys, again, thanks for watching. This has been Bronze to Silver. Uh, Coltrane, go get that beta, man. Get that beta. You just need a pre-order, you get the beta. I went to EB Games and I put a pre-order, well, you only had to put $5 down, and you got the beta key. So, 5 bucks for a beta key, and I was able to pay cash, so not a big deal. Alright guys, again, thanks everybody for watching, hope this has been not too horribly boring, and look for, in the future, on SC2 Mistakes in YouTube, look for a playlist that's going to take you from bronze to however far I can actually get. So, I'd like to say Bronze to Masters, but... I don't know. I don't know. Let's start with Bronze to Silver. Alright, this has been Bronze to Silver with Agamemnon. Thanks for watching, guys. You're awesome. Stay classy. <laughs>